I feel like death. <laughs> Gosh, I hate being sick. But let's get started. Whoa. Girl, I know, right? This shop has the best stuff. I need to refresh my inventory. Let's go. Sounds great. Um, hey, I didn't force you into this, did I? Huh? Not at all. I wanted to go shopping today. Okay, that's a relief. Oh my god, this looks so good with your hair. Oh, would it? And this would be a perfect bottom to match. Go try it on. I want to know how you like it. Oh, uh, uh, all right. <laughs> that is so cute. What do you think? Do you like it? Yes, I love it. Thank you so much. Hmm. That hat is cute, but doesn't match. So, uh, I actually love the hat. Feels good to wear. <laughs> mm, well, the fit is... It's too cute for you to pass up. I'll buy it for you. My treat. Uh, you do not have to buy it. Buy me it. Like I said, my treat. <laughs> Thank you. I love your work. Thank you. It is very strange. That Delilah would do this for someone she hardly knows. She seems so... Kind. Clink, clink, clink. I can't wait to show off my new clothes. What an awesome haul. <laughs> it makes me wonder if maybe she's changed. From what Cade showed me of his past, she is so different. <laughs> maybe she's only treated Cade that way. But if so, why? I should not come to a conclusion just yet. Hey, what do you want to eat? Cafe. I'm surprised they didn't go eat sushi because every time we go see Kate and Zay going out to eat somewhere, it's always a sushi place. Cafe place? So, Zeta, I'm curious. What got you into modeling? Mm, what got me into it? I, I suppose it sort of just fell into my life. I did not look into modeling. I see. Then what would you say your dream job is? Dream job? Uh, something with art. Ah, uh, art, eh? Yes, art is very enjoyable. I could never. Well, do you at least enjoy modeling? Yes, of course I do. That's good. Modeling is all I want to do. Oh, how about I pay for our meals? You paid for my outfit. It is only fair. Uh, if you want to, thanks. That will be $28.89. Uh, Twenty-eight eighty-nine. Uh, uh. Don't wait. I do not know how much how to count this money. Oh snap! Down to earth. Oh no. Yeah, it gets kind of confusing. Well, more when it comes to currency, like. If you give money to kids and they buy something and they're like, hey, your total is like $16.98 and the kid will be so confused. They're like, I have $16, but what is, you know, 98 cent? How do I count this? And then you give them coins and they don't know how to like add up yet, like quarters to dimes to pennies and nickels. Like it just throw them off. So sometimes we're just like, for me, when I teach young children, 
I just like just round it up what's the nearest dollar right so they'll give you a chain back so if it's $16 try to get them $17 if you don't have $17 exactly you don't have another dollar just give them $20 and they'll give you you know x amount of dollars back and cents and that kind of helps them a little bit so they don't get panicky but you know as an adult myself I don't even have 98 cents or 50 cents or whatever I just give them the big dollar bills and just go along so for Zeta I'm pretty sure this is very overwhelming like that gives me anxiety for her okay that'll be 28 dollars 28.89 no wait I do not know how to count this money oh stars what do I do what we see oh she looks like she has two dimes and a penny what zeta sees oh oh my goodness should i pretend i do not have enough hey you good i i'm so sorry one moment please ding ding ring hey guys oh did i join too late you're already paying? Um, yes. Well, trying to. I'll be paying for them today. What's the total? Twenty-eight eighty-nine. Cherry, you do not need to do that. I know. I enjoy helping out my friends. Thank you, Cherry. You got me out of a situation I was not prepared for. Thanks, Cherry. That was so sweet of you. I'm so, I'm sorry I joined too late. I could have hung with you guys. It's getting late anyway. Speaking of, I should head home. I had fun, Zeta. Uh, same here. Bye. Later. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Cade texted me. He was worried about you. Zer, zer. Cade? Hey, nerd. What are you up to? Cherry, Zay is hanging out with Delilah today. Could you maybe do me a favor? So, I've heard. I'll be happy to help. Uh, uh, could you just, like, go check on her for me? You worried Lily will talk smack about you? I don't blame you. I'd be scared of that, too. <laughs> um, yeah, that's... That's what's bothering me. Uh, you don't have to really do anything. She Just make sure she's alright. Sure thing, Romeo. He worried about me that much? I wonder why. I won't lie, Z. When you said you were spending the day with Delilah, I got a worry too. Huh? But how come? Uh, well, not my place to say, but let's say Delilah has a bad track re record of saying mean things. She's not a bad person. She says things and unintentionally hurts people. I think that's what Cade worried about. Is that so? Yeah. So what are your plans now? I will meet up with Cade at Spender's before his shifts end. Would you like to join me? I'd love to, too, but I don't want to be a bother. I know I can be a lot at times, sometimes. So, if you wish to join me, then please join me. I enjoy your company. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, that's such a great reassurance for your friends, especially the ones that do feel... A little bit in their head sometimes to feel like oh you know like I'm a burden I'm not wanted and stuff which I can relate to that because sometimes I hang out with people and I feel like oh you know I'm not welcomed or that you know that I can't tell they like having me there so I always excuse myself but when you have that one friend like hey you know I want you here you you are welcome you're such a like a welcoming company for me I want you here that's such a wonderful feeling. So if you guys ever have that friend that's very shy and in their head and, you know, you want to give them that reassurance, do it. It means so much. It means so much for me. Oh, 
That's so sweet of Zay. Okay. And that's really how you feel. Ta -ta 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 -ta. I want to get to know you better, Z. What's your favorite color? Right now, pink. What kind of music do you listen to? Lots. What food can you not live without? Pancakes. Do you have any hobbies? I enjoy drawing and video games. <laughs> All I'll answer the same, except the color yellow, and I cannot live without lemon juice. <laughs> Oh, uh, it was almost perfect. So, like, what about school and stuff? Where are you from? Things like that. Uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm from here, and I do not go to school. Oh, so homeschool? Y yes, that. Hmm. You're not from this planet. Uh. Are you, Z? Hmm? Uh, down to earth. What does she mean? Well, it's another cliffhanger, guys. So my mind will be spiraling till the next episode. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed the way I read this and react to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, check out my playlist. I do have all my readings for each webtoons on a playlist if you guys want to binge it. Uh, I do have Down to Earth, uh, Marry My Husband, The Remarried Empress, so many homesick. I have so many reads. Just check out my playlist if you guys are into any of that. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!